Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into Fort Nightmares 2024 and jumping right into Ford Rush, one of the craziest modes you can play right now. Let me just say this up front. I am not great at Fortnite. I don't play it all day like some people. Honestly, most of the shorts you see on the channel, that's my son playing. He's way better than me. The kid's out here building, editing, and taking down squads like it's nothing. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to survive against these zombies. But hey, that's part of the fun, right? So, we're heading into Horde Rush, and if you're not familiar with it, buckle up. It's a wild ride. It's wave after wave of terrifying enemies that just don't stop coming. The longer you survive, the more intense it gets. You have to stay on the move and really watch out for where the hordes are coming from, or they will overwhelm you in no time. Can we take a moment to appreciate the vibe of this year's Fortnite Mares? Epic Games absolutely nailed the Halloween atmosphere. The entire map feels haunted, with mist rolling in, eerie music playing, and jump scares around every corner. You can feel the tension building as you play, which makes Ford Rush even more intense. Every year, I'm excited to see how they'll transform the map, and once again, they've delivered. Let me know down in the comments, what's been your favorite part of Fort Nightmares so far? Are you loving the horror skins? The new map changes? Or are you here for the chaos of Ford Rush like me? I'm curious to hear what you all think, because in my opinion, this year's event is one of the best yet. The haunted theme works perfectly with Fortnite, making it the ideal fit for Halloween. Now, while I'm running around trying not to get wiped out by zombies, let's talk strategies for Ford Rush. If you want to survive longer, you have to keep moving. Don't camp in one spot. These waves will catch up to you. Before you know it, you're trapped. I've learned that the hard way many times. Look for open spaces where you can reposition, and make sure to grab all the loot drops as they come. Health and shields are your best friends in Horde Rush. You don't want to be caught low on health when a boss shows up. Speaking of bosses, oh man, these guys are no joke. They're huge, hit hard, and take a ton of damage to bring down. My advice? Don't face them head on. Be smart with your approach. Use the environment, stay mobile, and make sure you've got enough ammo before engaging. The key is patience. Don't rush into a fight you can't win, and definitely don't get caught out in the open when the hordes are swarming. If you're playing with a team, horde rush is all about coordination. You've gotta cover each other, share loot, and make sure no one gets overwhelmed. If one player goes down, it can quickly turn into a total wipe. So stay close, communicate, and watch each other's backs. And while I'm at it, if you're watching this and you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty more Fortnite Mares content coming your way, and I'd love for you to stick around. Shout out to everyone who's been supporting the channel lately. We've seen some awesome growth, and it's all thanks to you guys for tuning in, dropping likes, sharing the videos, and leaving comments. It really makes a difference, and I appreciate every single one of you. Whether you're here for the gameplay or just to hang out, it's great to have you. All right, another wave is coming, and it looks even crazier than the last. This is where things get dicey. The later waves in Horde Rush are brutal, and if you're not careful, you'll get overwhelmed fast. Always remember to keep moving. Don't let the zombies corner you or trap you up against the storm. If you stop moving, it's game over. And if you're like me, playing this just for fun, don't worry too much about being perfect. Horde Rush is all about having a good time, especially with friends. If you get taken out, no big deal. Just jump back in, learn from your mistakes, and keep going. That's what Fortnite is all about, right? Having fun, no matter what crazy mode they throw at us. All right, that's enough from me for now. I'm going to keep trying to survive these waves, but feel free to hit the comments and share your thoughts on Fort Nightmares this year. Are you loving it? Hating it? And how are you holding up in Ford Rush? Crushing it or struggling like me? I'd love to hear from you. 